All right, we're getting out of here, guys. Go to the new link. Okay, cool. Guys, damn. <laughs> if you're just uh, joining us or if you're re-watching this the next day, just know there were no firearms shown in that uh, live stream there, but somehow YouTube thinks that there was. Yeah, uh, got the email there. YouTube removed your content uh, due to the firearms policy being violated. We did not violate any firearms policy. We were showing a holster, and uh, YouTube thought that there was a firearm in the front, uh, in the frame, or in the stream. Damn, I'm sorry. My mind is like, I'm so pissed right now, bro. That, that really threw me off. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Yes. Fuck that yeah. shit, man. They bammed out. Total BS. YouTube yeah. RIP. <laughs> <laughs> that horse shit. Exactly. It, I, I'm saying, man, it wasn't even a finished frame. I'm not even touching that frame because it's white. It's a unicorn, you know? I hope, that. I hope someone at YouTube cleans their glasses off. Did I not send Panda the link? You should have, yeah. I thought I did. Oh, shit. I guess I didn't. Uh-oh. Yeah, he got it. Damn. <laughs> that was quick. Panda, I'm sorry, Panda. I forgot to hit send. <laughs> uh, it's all good. No, you got me. You, you're good. It was... Uh, I, did. I did, right? Yeah, I was trying to enter it in, and... Uh, I typed in the wrong code by accident, so it took me a little bit longer. You're good. I thought I forgot to send it. I sent it twice. <sighs> that NBC cuck put you on the YouTube radar. Yeah, they're uh, really watching my shit now closely, bro. If they already got their eyes on my ooh at under a thousand, then they're trying to fry you. Yeah, they're uh, <laughs> they're coming for me, but uh, you can't stop the signal. No, man. Not, not. Haters going to hate. Well, hello again. Thanks for finding us, guys. If you came back in that shirt. Oh, yeah. There it's, you go. Yeah, that is perfect. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Kill him. Kill What's him. the height? How tall is he? Uh, Two foot something. Two foot eight. <laughs> two foot eight. You got to count the hat, man. It's Santa Panda. Yeah. Uh, I had one before. I don't know where the hell I put it. Santa <laughs> Panda. Guys, so if you are just uh, joining us or if you're re-watching this stream, uh, this is the Angry Sarge birthday bash, uh, birthday bash the roast pre-show. Um, man, we had the whole beautiful intro and that sucks that we got to restart, man. Um, so... I'm even, I'm even afraid to ask you to show the holster. <laughs> I'll do it without it. With you know, I'll, just hold, I'll it. I, I guess just hold it up. Yeah, yeah. hold it up and explain it. I guess again and <laughs> okay. There's no look. It's empty. Dude, it I promise you, it's empty. So if you missed it, what we did is we made it charger. Compatible. Oh, like Baldor Pro R uh, charger compatible Louis Vuitton holster with the gold rings. I uh, hold that hold that thing up, uh, Sarge. Let me talk about it. With the gold rings on there of uh, the black graphite dom uh, not Damier uh, monogram pattern. Yes. Check that thing out. Super slick looking. Uh, hella dope. Let's see the backside. With the QLS four. QLS fork, check that thing out. Stream killed in five, four, <laughs> three. <laughs> now, now it's a sex toy. Oof. Okay. Ooh. Yikes. So, uh, anyhow, yep. on that note, you know, any O light that you have, we can do that. We can make that holster to fit and work and charge and all that fun stuff. So, do, do I need to show this again? Sure. Why not? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, battle worn. It is empty. It's empty. Oh, there's nothing in there. It just looks like a shell of plastic. Okay. 
But like I said, this thing's beat. It's been drugged. We kind of marked it to give markings. Kind of look like the the kind of stuff that we do labeling our mags or whatever. So just nice. something something cool we came up with. So if you want something that, that we beat the shit, come see us. I'll do it for free. I won't even charge it. Uh, is it rock slide proof? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anything's rock slide proof nowadays. I promise it is. <laughs> Yo. And then we're doing our, our dump trays. So if you want an oh. ADC dump tray, come get one. You know, so that battle worn dump tray, that thing's nice. Yeah, so this Sorry, is what we call um operator camo or or something like that is what it's called on the website. But this is this is pretty much what I used to paint my helmet with. That's just all these marks would be, you know, damage that it, it got knocking it up against something or whatever. Okay, uh, I'm going to address the question, but to me it doesn't make sense because if you're replacing the battery, your firearm should be unloaded, so it doesn't really make sense to make a holster compatible with access to the front to access the battery because why are you changing the batteries with the loaded firearm? It doesn't make sense. So we're just going to ignore that there, Pickle Rick. Think about that for a second, brother. <laughs> I mean, The tray resembles a gun. Live shut down. <laughs> Skip guns in the house. What's going oh, on, player? Let me hide my mags, you know, just in case. Latin Reaper. Yeah, see? It blend in. It's okay. We're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't even know you were holding mags in there, uh, Sarge. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> yo, I'm so mad they killed the stream, bro. But uh, that sucks. Speaking of Rock Slide, <clears throat> did they reach out to you? No, so Rockslide did not reach out to me, but however, Marconi reached out to me. So I won't even open this. I haven't opened it yet. I was going to do an unboxing review. So maybe on Sunday, I'll unbox this and put it together and slap it on the frame. But then I was like, if I'm building a slide, they're going to strike the video. So I'll probably just do an unboxing. And then I'll do the build video <clears throat> over on Odyssey. But uh, Marconi. That thing's hot. Bro, you saw the preview. For, I uh, <laughs> I posted on my uh, Instagram story. But, yeah, Marconi Armory. They got some fire slides right now. Um, I don't want to speak too much on it. It's still pre-release. They've got something they have in the works. And uh, stay tuned. But uh, definitely the best slide out right now. I'm just saying, maybe maybe a little better than Strike Industries. Oh shit! I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to test it first. <laughs> I know, right? Nah, it's like nah. I love my strike. Um, my, my strike. Uh, I mean, I just want some more arc slides back. That would be nice. Some arc slides. Some arc slides. Ralph, what happened? Yeah, they uh, shut down that live. Hold on. Let, let me make the new people happy. I'll put my shirt back on. <laughs> oh, the nods again. Maybe it was the nods that got to shut that got to shut down. I got scared. I'd be scared too. If I <laughs> see a goon running at me with some fucking nods too. I'd be scared. Especially when you're weak. That's why I say there's no weak shit. No so, weak shit. No weak. <clears throat> so sorry, John. Back to the dump trays. I have forgotten that you had mentioned that uh, to me the other day. So is custom logo is going to be an option on the website, or is that just something? When we launch it, it's actually not going to be that expensive to get the custom logo. <laughs> you can get whatever you want. I mean, if you can send us a JPEG or something like that, we can take it and get it printed out. Easy. I'm so sorry. The your logo. Go ahead. No, it was just a funny comment. He said, Ralph, you like them strikes, YouTube and all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I like it. I yeah, like I it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from strikes. Uh, <laughs> Yo. Uh, you already got, you got like five or six of them in the background. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Okay, Ralph, are Brownells barrels good to go with Brownell slide and OEM parts kit? Absolutely. That is my number one recommendation. You, you hit the nail on the head there. Uh, Panda, Panda. Do it. Don't do it. Panda. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Panda. Dude. What do you think I'm running right here? That's, Brownell that's all slide I'm running. RMR. Yes. Three, two, one. <laughs> No, I think as long as they don't see the frame. Yeah, I think they're looking for that grip-looking shape. That I mean, they might have thought these were a fucking barrel, so. The nods, damn. I mean, shit, you never know. PDW dump tray. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Prism Dude, wall. You know, yeah. Love if you guys rain. are anything like me where I carry a shit ton of stuff, I have to wear, like, cargo cargo pants just to be able to carry all the edc crap that i have on me my girlfriend goes crazy about it anytime we have to go through like security or anything mm. but if you're anything like me those dump trays are going to save your life every every morning or every night when you get back from work <laughs> yeah i agree man uh panda's going rogue i believe he's talking about your shirt <laughs> no he's talking I about can explain <laughs> He's talking oh. about slime. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Panda, is that a Brownells barrel? It is. Okay. Every, so this was an exclusive Brownells frame, and uh, I decided to go exclusive Brownells, almost everything. So everything off this build, I pretty much purchased off of Brownells. So, okay. And Brownells sure. slide, barrel, internals. Thing is good to go. Straight up Brownell's representative in this mug. <laughs> hey man, I'm a proud BOP member. Oh, we know. We know. Cargo <laughs> is the way to go. I know, right? We know pandas like that. <laughs> uh cargo is the way to go. I agree. If it's the summertime, I've got on some camo cargos uh and some more things. <laughs> yeah. Um I I will be at the oh my god I forgot what it's called the uh it's the, in Oaks right the Where's Oaks it? gun show I believe I forget there's a name for it I, we're just gonna call it the Oaks uh this weekend I'll be making an appearance yeah. uh, along with Chairman Juan uh JSD Supply I believe Bob Putang will be up there DLD After Dark will be there as well so damn. Catch your boy P80 Ralph live in person for everyone that's been like, do a meet and greet, do a meet and greet. You want to meet me? You want to take some photos? You want to be like, blue, 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 but not <laughs> really blue, blue, blue. Just uh, anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'll be there. Uh, when? I'll be there tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you there, Dave. Um, I too had issues with Swenson slides. Oh. That's interesting. I thought Swenson's were good to go. Sons of Liberty is in PA. Uh, come down, brother. Come meet the crew. <laughs> That's a whole couple hours away difference. <laughs> Two A yeah. Edu got taken down just for a Glock slide. Just be easy. Two A Edu is that a a channel? Two uh, A Education. Did you send um, the link? Oh, mm -hmm. shit, it's a new link. Yeah. Fuck. I was like, where the hell is Walsh? <laughs> no, it's supposed to be all the boys here, man. Come on. Jesus. All right, I got a copy. I'm copying. I got to paste it. I'm pasting. <laughs> all the messages. Bro, the live stream got killed. <laughs> I mean, Bro, that's what we're right now. Yeah, bro. Did, did, did the channel get nuked? <laughs> bro, they took down the live. <laughs> they just jacked your stream. <laughs> Thank you guys for being concerned and for hitting me up. Uh, I was the first to know. <laughs> <laughs> Latin Reaper is going to be at the Oaks. Hey, Latin Reaper, come over to the JSD supply table and holla at your boy. I'll be there. Hopefully, JSD lets, lets me sit back there with them. <laughs> I'm just, sure he would, just for the hell of it. I show up. I'm just going to do it. So, uh, Did the right, show right. end or you guys didn't start yet? Uh, as you can tell from the title of the video, 
This is the Roast Pre-Show with Angry Sarge and Tactical Trash Panda. And hopefully in a couple seconds, we'll have Walsh from Thin Line Defense in here as well. Thank you. Panda, let me see the brown nails build. Get the fuck out of here. This guy is so... <laughs> Now I want to block him just for being a jackass. <laughs> nah, he, he wants just... the live to get taken down. Okay, Hitman 96. So it will be at the Philly Expo Center. Here we go. Dude, I wish I would have known about that. I would have probably gone too. Damn. Come down, Panda. Ride with me, bro. Oh, man. I, to do. I got a lot going. What time, what time do you think you'll be there too? Ah. I was really just going to pop up for like a few hours, bro. I was going to go in the morning and come back like in the afternoon. I might be able to do it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you don't have to make any promises, Panda. But if you do, that would be mad cool. Just saying. Oh. I know. I know that would be mad cool. Look, okay, I got Panda. something for you. Well, I got. Yay. I got this for you, man. I got. I still got to drop it off to you. It's All not right. broken. I appreciate it. It's not so, broken. <laughs> Tactical Trash Panda had actually sent me a mug for Christmas, and uh, it was broken during shipping. I checked my camera, and the jackass <laughs> literally tossed it on my doorstep when the package clearly said fragile. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was nicely packaged. There was bubble wrap. There was paper. It still broke. Um, so thank you, Panda. I look forward to drinking coffee before work on my tactical trash panda mug. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think I know what happened, Ralph. I think I think that guy was pissed off because you might you probably put in like a heavy ass ammo order in and he had to probably lug that thing up. <laughs> I, I've been doing uh what's it called? Uh uh torture test uh reviews for Olights. Um so I've been ordering thousand packs yeah, they're pretty heavy, so I guess those guys are pissed that they got to bring. Like, this motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck this guy with his fragile-ass box. <laughs> Next time, you... just put like a little envelope with a with a $5 tip or something <laughs> on yeah. the door. This is what he did. He said, no weak shit, and just fucking tossed it. He's yep. like, it's fragile, it's weak, we're just going to fucking throw that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, DLD after dark said uh, he'll make room for me at the table. Okay, okay, I'll be there, bro. Make make some room. <laughs> Bring your own chair and just don't even ask for any permission. Just be like, ah, I'm sitting right here. There's my yeah. spot. <laughs> Jordan's gonna come up like, <laughs> Ralph, what the fuck are you doing behind the table? I'll be like, DLD invited me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, DLD's right. not running the show here. <laughs> Like, well, I, I invited myself. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, was it UPS, USPS, or FedEx? I think it was UPS. Uh, FedEx, actually. <laughs> was it FedEx? <laughs> yeah, yeah, FedEx. Luckily, you know, I put in the I put in the complaint about that, and they they did fix it. They did the right thing, but uh, yeah, it just sucks that it happened. Yeah, Charlie Murphy. <laughs> what did the five fingers say to the face? Slap! <laughs> I just love how we just all three of us did that at the I same know, time. We all knew where it was from. Yeah. Um, it was an undercover YouTube moderator playing I the delivery that. man. I seen that. I was dying. I was like, check that one. That was good. What's up, Tech? <laughs> hey, K Dog. What's up, bruh? <laughs> ah, man. Damn YouTube. Damn. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty pissed about that, bro. I gotta say. Um, but we're starting off just right. That's how I know I'm yeah. doing something right because they out here watching. <laughs> they super is, How the hell do they even know? Like how how do they realize they got shit that shouldn't be on YouTube, but they go after stuff like this. Like like what, Panda? <laughs> like <laughs> freedom. They go after freedom. No, but what do they have on YouTube that shouldn't be on there? I don't know. What did you tell that? Uh, what what the hell was that guy, <laughs> Mister Mister Eating Dicks? What the hell? What the hell was that? His name? No. You told him they have naked yoga on here or some shit. <laughs> Something along those lines. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. this is all I heard when he was fucking talking. Mechanical dildo. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yo, 
So Sarge was the only one that heard mechanical dildo when he said mechanical keyboard. Uh, that was funny as shit. That was. <laughs> he got mad at you for not knowing his hobby. Like, oh, he doesn't know my hobby? <laughs> Sarge, what do you think about the Recover 2080? Never used it, man. Never used it. I have a Flux. Flux Raider, so... Yeah, the flux is uh, wow. very rugged. I I held that thing. I played with it a little, and the the way the brace pops out and the mag the mags. Yeah, the mag change as soon as you go to grab that secondary and push it, it drops your one out of your gun. Yeah, man, it's nice. See now, Sarge, you're gonna make me end up getting a a sig, man. You're gonna make me go get a three twenty. So, so I'm gonna have a flux that's gonna go out to people that want to rep it. And uh, maybe show off something coming soon with that. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hey! Mm. Mm. So, as long as you put it up on your channel, man, you just go nuts with it. I don't care. I'm good. Man, let's see, I'm still like, I'm, st I'm still wondering if I should just get the FCU or if I should just go out and buy the whole thing already completed. I'm, you could. It would be cheaper just buying the whole thing. And that way I won't – I could just, you know, pimp it out the way I want it later down the line. But I'm That's just looking not, at that. Because, I know mean, what? if you're new to SIG, get a SIG. Just get a full pistol. But if you want something custom, I just go ahead and get what I want right out the gate and just build it See? up. And that's the thing, like, if it was with a Glock, like, I'm, I'm so used to Glocks that that's why I was not worried about, you know, building a P80, because I already had so many accessories for hey, Glocks. I got you, Skips. And yeah. Skips has a, a channel as well, Skips Guns. Yeah. Uh, be more up next. What's going on, brother? That NBC guy probably watching everything. Yeah, he's over here. YouTube on speed dial. They're holding a bottle ready. Shut him down. Shut him down. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I might. I might just get a. See, I don't know anything about the different models. So I'm. I'm thinking maybe get the X5 Legion or. I don't no, know. All you need is the FCU, and then you can get whatever grip mod you want, like the X carry. Or you could get the Legion, but I think honestly, the Icarus Precision, that thing that I got, yeah, nothing's gonna compare to that thing. Just saying, okay. the thing is nuts. I appreciate I, I, you guys for taking care of me on that. That was awesome. Hey man, thank and Wave Slave. Or yeah, sorry. Wave, Wave Slave was a guy that he's the man that proposed the. You know, he, he was like, "Hey, I got an idea." Sarge's birthday is coming up. Why don't we do something special for him? Yeah, y'all, y'all so, hooked me up, man. I appreciate that very much. That frame course, is man. beautiful, bro. And uh, so I used to have. If you're new around here, you probably don't know this, but uh, for the folks that have been around, you guys already know. I used to have a Patreon: uh, Angry Sarge, Tactical Trash Panda, Bourbon Operator, Be More Up Next, uh, Sons of Liberty, uh, K Dog. Uh, uh, damn, I'm blanking here. Tech Money, uh, Polish Man, Polish Man. Yo, there's Wave so Slave, yeah. Wave Slave. A lot of these guys. I'm sorry, I'm in the spot. This is live. It's really yeah. hard to remember everybody live. Um, but yeah, all those guys got together and they put together a build for me. So if you guys have seen the SIG that I've been shooting lately, that is a uh, X5 grip module with a Great Ghost Precision slide. RMR cut with the hollow sun 507C up top with the night vision sup uh, suppressor height sights along with the uh, armory craft trigger and go gun gas pedal. Damn, I can't remember. I can't believe I remembered all of that. Uh, but yeah, JSD supply sent me out the jig, the MUP and the parts kit with the, with the drill bits and the parts kit for mm -hmm. that. So I literally got a, a a sig from the community these guys wanted me to build a sig so bad that they gifted it to me so i'm very thankful for that i was very against sigs i was like no glock, 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 glock. <laughs> and they were like motherfucker you need to shoot a sig fuck a glock and See, uh that's the 
that's the evolution of a gun owner. You go from what you think is hot to over time, you you open up a little bit, you open your mind up, and you start going towards other things. A friend lets you shoot something else, and you start going to the range, renting different different guns, and yep. then you start getting training and all types of stuff. And you know, you you go from what you thought was good to better. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we we have the M17 and M18 in the army. Yeah. So, are you allowed to just change grips and slides if you want, or do you have to have the M18 and 17? So things things vary with different units. Okay, it just uh, depends on. Yeah, like where... mainly when you talk about people having the pistol, it used to not be a thing. Like you'd have, you know, the the special operations community they would have a pistol. You'd have the MPs, obviously, and it wasn't really known that much in the infantry, unless you're an officer. Don't ask me why they get stuff when they get lost. I'm surprised they can keep up with a pistol. But, <laughs> you know, it, it now that it's become more prevalent, um, yeah, it, it depends on what you do and what unit you're in. But most of the time, for just regular Joe, he's going to have exactly what is ship, which is the standard frame, which I'm not a fan of. Um, I prefer the X carry or even the X five frame is perfect. It's just so well balanced in the hand of the, the weight that they put in there makes a huge difference. Right. Um, yeah. I love the SIG. The, I adjusted my trigger so that I can rapid fire like nobody's business. I let off two 22 round mags in like 10 seconds i was just, <laughs> mm. i don't know somebody watched the video and they were like bro is that thing full auto i was like no it's uh my finger <laughs> <laughs> hey uh i hate to cut you off but shout out to ice cream dipper he says shout out to angry sarge and panda hey, shout out know. ice cream dipper ice cream dipper the number one groupie what's going on brother <laughs> uh, self-proclaimed i didn't i didn't call him that he called hey, him no, i get it i get it <laughs> He called himself that. Okay, so. <laughs> but sorry, um, you talking about units. You just tell those units to suck my unit. <laughs> yo. <laughs> so if I'm not mistaken. Inside joke. <laughs> why not? <laughs> uh, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say the FBI carries the Glock 17 and 19 with the backup as the 26. And most police departments carry the Glock 17. 22. I, I carry a 17. Word. Well, it used to be where most police departments were carrying 40 cals. The 22. Then, yeah, the Glock 22. Yeah, then the FBI switched back to 9mm. Yes. And after that, it kind of had a trickling effect to all the law enforcement agencies. So I could tell you what happened. Um, I started my career carrying a Glock 21. That's what I came okay. in. 45? 45 out on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I moved on to another agency and they were carrying the 22. So I carried that for a while and I went to my third agency. Um, I was carrying whatever I wanted. So I carried mm -hmm. the Glock 21. Then I had a wrist surgery, so I couldn't shoot it as well. And I changed to an M&P 9. Loved it. Great gun. It fits in the same holster, believe it or not, as a Glock 21. No oh. change. You know, Panda's a big fan of the MMP, too. Um, what is it about the MMP that you guys like so much, Pat? Uh, the, all right, so the internals are a lot more secured than a Glock is. So it doesn't have as much flex. And then the ergonomics of the grip, think of it as a Strike 80 frame compared to the Palmer 80. Mm, a, a better feel in the hand. Yeah. It has a better feel. And I was surprised to just recently find out that Smith & Wesson just came out with the M&P 10 millimeter. So I'm, I'm, I was thinking about building a Glock 20, but now I'm just thinking maybe M &P 10. go towards the M&P M &P 10 millimeter. It holds 15 rounds. And it looks like they did a hell of a job on that thing. So, lastly, real quick. Hey, Walsh. Hey, what's going on, Walsh? Sorry about all the confusion I got. All my times mixed up. 
It's the wizard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, Ralph, had, Ralph had all these different times. I'm like, oh, it's cool. I'm 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 on the late show tonight. He's like, no, we're going right now. But I <laughs> did not get that memo. <laughs> so there was a, there was a slight confusion. Let me clear it up. So we wanted to have Sarge's first appearance as more of like a formal thing. Um, we didn't want to do a whole making fun of people's guns and shit. Uh, so we're we're leaving the roast for uh 10 p.m so we're doing just kind of the angry sarge birthday bash kind of thing here uh, so yeah it's the angry sarge 40th birthday got him old <laughs> i got gray hair i promise <laughs> that's gonna be angry yeah, I, I hide all the grays underneath the, underneath the hat yeah underneath it it's the, the grays are inevitable. <laughs> they, I get, they, they know I'm me. getting more and more grays lately too i was at the barber shop <laughs> just the other day and they're cutting my hair i'm looking down and I'm like, damn, where did all this gray hair start coming from? Yeah, why y'all leave all that hair on the floor before I got in here? Trash <laughs> panda, <laughs> bro. Let me put it back in there. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> so what's funny, Ralph, is I haven't been over on your channel a little bit, and it's funny. Some people still are like, oh, it's Antiques Roadshow. It's that guy. They yeah. they be here. I've had viewers that's that's that. That have been with me for like a year, bro. So oh, that's funny. Big yeah. shout out to the community, everyone that keeps showing up uh, for the lives. You guys are awesome. I do this for you guys. I wouldn't be doing it for myself. That's for damn sure. Uh, <laughs> so Walsh, Walsh, I gotta ask, where did the antique road show come from? I, I, someone <laughs> in the chat, like I think, cause like I think, cause I was just basically a nobody, and then I just start like talking about a gun, and I just like went into all the nuanced details of like why you know i think it was someone had like you know non-suppressor sites but then they had like a suppressor on it and then like a red dot so i was like none of this stuff flows none of this stuff works and i went to it from like top to bottom and they were just like who the hell is this guy <laughs> <laughs> and it was like one after another i was just like going through it like i, I don't know kind of like i do my videos where i just go like super meticulously through it and there was like this guy is just like selling me on whatever gun this is. <laughs> you know, okay, I can see that because the videos that I have watched, like your review videos, I'm like, damn, I wish I could do this the way Walsh does it. I don't know how the hell you do it. <laughs> that was actually Ice Cream Dipper. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Ice Cream Dipper so. said, "Damn, we got the Antique Road Show in here uh, yeah. during one of the roasts." Or so we got to make the... a comment real fast. At least Walsh hasn't shut down a live before. My first live, I shut the bitch down. <laughs> so, hey, Walsh, uh, you were not here earlier, but uh, the first 15 minutes uh, stream was actually cut because we were showing a holster and Sarge had a frame. An unfinished frame. A frame, not even a, a firearm. And he stuck it in the holster to show us the, uh, oh, the, the special feature of it. And... They they cut the stream, so we had to re restart. They, they who are, like YouTube? They yeah. in YouTube, yeah. Oh my goodness! I, I got the email of death. Like your stream, <laughs> you are showing live firearms on. Yeah, that's that's what they said. So, you, you are violating firearms policy. So, Ralph, I'm gonna tell you this right now. They are like, I think I get away with a whole lot more than you do. Like, I kind of get, I kind of get to like skirt some things. They are. Whoever it is is paying close attention to whatever you're doing on my ass. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I am just like, yeah, yeah, I don't I kind of know Ralph, but <laughs> I don't I'm just here for Sarge. I don't know. They'll call guy. you back, bro. bro I don't seriously. know this they're, guy. They're calling about you. <laughs> oh, I don't by the way, Walsh, man, like congratulations on the 10K and oh, yeah, recent thanks, 10K. Man. Yeah, that was a that was a big deal. I know we all got to come in and say thanks to Ralph. Uh, when he got the 10k, so I, I'm slow. We're slowly keeping pace with him. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was a big deal. Um, so what's funny is I didn't really share this publicly, but um, when I got the 10k, my wife had to buy me a cake. So I said like, hey, when I get to 10k, does that mean I'm officially famous? And she's like, no, you're still an idiot. It's like, well, can I get a cake? <laughs> she's like, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you a cake. So uh, so I got 10k and she got me a cake. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Still, man, that's awesome. That's like my wife. She calls me an idiot all the time. I mean, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hun, I'm like a little bit famous. And she's like, no, you are not. You are go get the trash. <laughs> okay. Uh, level 22 at least. That's the good thing. 
Well, 10K is a big milestone, man. It's really hard to hit it. It's the first five-digit number, so it makes you feel like, damn, I got a common, uh, or I got another zero now. Like, it, it's an accomplishment. Yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, so I'm still stuck at, like, 300, so I'm like, I'm, I'm nowhere right now. <laughs> He's coming, least, man. At He's least coming. you got called an idiot instead of asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I was keeping it be, I mean, trying to make it seem like she liked me, you know, big deal. <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? This dude treats Ralph like public enemy number one. Yeah, yeah I'm out here. According to NBC, I'm teaching criminals how to build guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said, bro. They wrote a hit piece on me. So I don't want to get you in any more grief, but did you see the, there was a, someone put a video together of a 22 that was fully printed. It was like a little, like, uh, Oh, like, I, I like, saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw. I thought of you. I was like, we're not talking about it, but I was like, they want to get mad about some stuff. That's a that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one to get mad about. Yeah. So I re I really got into the three D printing game heavy lately. Like I'm, man. My my printer is never off. Let's just say that. Um, <laughs> there's I love always. The, I love the and I know uh, by a different name from the Sig side, but like that Flux Raider kind of thing for the Glock. That, that, you've been is, doing, that thing looks awesome. That is yeah. Digital Nimbus Labs design. He calls it the Invader PDW. There's actually a Glock version. He's working on the P320 version mm. and mm. FNS40. Mm. <laughs> that so would be there, huge. There will be an FN, a SIG, and a Glock ver version of it. So Digital Nimbus is putting in mad work with the calipers and the CAD work. Like this man. Got it's it crazy going too because those those flux raiders they sell for like five hundred bucks so retail. Well, you can't get them, and then you can really only get them in secondary markets. Um, and, and Angry Sarge will come he'll, he'll contest to this, yeah. like nine hundred or a thousand bucks. Yeah, I mean, so I got one for six hundred. Yeah, that's a deal. Wow. Six hundred yeah. is a deal, yeah, and it's just plastic. I mean, yeah, yeah that's like an it's, actual. You know, it's like buying a Glock at this point. You're yeah. buying. A, a, an OEM complete Glock at that point. Yeah, mm -hmm. Snow said, and a forty-five. I didn't know he made a forty-five too. That's crazy. Hold on, I, I gotta pause this, Panda. What is that shirt you got on? Because that is that is epic. It's so perfect for you. It's so it's so perfect. I got another one too. I got something. I saw this one, and I saw another one, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get both." <laughs> We should make some of your own. You have any of your own shirts yet? Not yet. Uh, I, I was looking into that, and I may start. You know, once I get a little bit more uh, traffic towards my way, I may start getting into clothing and whatnot. Yeah, we always. Uh, I need some good pants. I need like a good sweatshirt with some panda logos on it, just so people know I'm about to get into trouble. I'm sorry. Two things here, guys. Mods, if you're a moderator in my chat, please uh, ban, block the people who post bullshit. Uh, I give you guys the right to do so. If you see something that looks like spam mods, please uh, hit those guys up. And second thing here is uh, HCM Holster is asking, Sarge, how many do you have? I think he's talking about the Flux. Three? Mm hmm Sarge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking sorry. I got, I got more than Travis Haley. Well, maybe, well, maybe not. What's that? Right. A lot. <laughs> we're we're gonna change the name from Flux Raider to Flex Raider at this point. It's the Flex truth. Raider. It's like you can't even buy them. You're damn right. What up? If you everybody? got one. You're definitely flexing. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Matt? Sean, uh, Windex is feeding his cat, so he cannot moderate. That's fine. I have a bunch of mods. I gave out a bunch of blue wrenches uh, a couple weeks back. Wait, no, this is the new channel. I don't think I gave anyone wrenches. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. No one. <laughs> right. I have no mods. He's like, Sarge is up here. He's not in the comments. Yeah, Sarge is my mod. Shit. <laughs> reading this. Like, all these people going crazy. Like, yeah. geez, geez, people out of here. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, guys. I will uh, I will make a bunch of you guys. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Sons of Liberty, Freaking Stang, Windex. Okay, I already gave out the wrenches. Be more up next. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got wrenches in here. Okay, blue wrenches, do your work. <laughs> I like the comment. Somebody back, way back in the comments was talking about the giving out like, some good dissertations. So another, it's another person who reminded me of the good times we had during the roasts. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the dissertation. I remember that. That was dissertation awesome. nation. Yeah. <laughs> that? I need that. The I do want to say thanks had... to to Ralph, man. So big, big thanks for me to you. Uh, we we've been chatting uh, a little bit offline. Um, Ralph put together some. Oh yeah. Oh, so what was that? Some radio. So th- those those are what's called a Laura Mesh Tastic. Um, they're actually mini mesh networks. So uh, you'll be able to see it when I do it, and I'll definitely call you out for it. Um, but you gave me kind of the housings. What they'll do is we'll be able to put those those actual radio housings in the the little housing that ralph built and you could put it on a plate carrier or you could put it on a belt or something like that and what those do is they they're mesh networks that communicate to each other that are not on like a cellular network so like let's say you oh. lost cell signal or let's say you're you're just out in the woods maybe you're you know you're 200 200 miles out and you're just out hunting fishing whatever and you don't have cell network mm-hmm. you can use this laura mesh ta- test act, uh, mesh tastic network to communicate to each other so you bluetooth into it and your phone and the app will use that. And then so I could be like, hey, Panda, I'm over so-and-so. And you could see not only who's talking, but where I'm at in terms of location based on it. And so you can also oh, wow. set up tons of these bases, like all in your neighborhood or in like in like certain strategic areas, and then set it up so you could you could be able to cover the whole swath of an area and connect everybody up. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I don't think you even knew half of what you made. But it's gonna be cool. I'll show it off. It's pretty neat. So I thought it was it, some walkie talkies. It looked like yeah. some walkie talkies. Yeah, I was gonna get to that. It seems like it's like kind of similar to ham or DMR like signals. Kind so, of, but think of it more like a, a mini meshable cellular network. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they use Bluetooth. Yep. See, Caleb knows. See, so he knows this he's only really started me on it. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, if you need somebody who's a nerd that can do stuff, we just saw one on the screen. That you you just showed. Caleb's a good guy, smart, mm-hmm. knows that stuff very well. He's always bringing up good good comments in our um, our chats and stuff like that. So, like, but loss, yeah, straight up. If if I'm needing to get somewhere, I'm going to go see him. <laughs> so yeah, so hopefully we're, we're, I'm going to show up that stuff. So big thanks to Ralph for that. And we're going to do a video on like ATAC and CIVTAC. I think you can plug it into those map apps on like, you know, you have like your phone hooked up to your plate carrier or whatever, or whatever you want to mm-hmm. use. So you can use it for nav and everything else. There's some really cool stuff you could do with it and stay totally off grid. Um, that's the way to do it though. So I saw you, Matthew. I just wanted to let you know, I saw the comment. Yeah, man. Oh. Matthew Cuchera. What's going on, brother? Uh, yes. Ice cream dipper. I gave you the wrench. Calm down, brother. You got your <laughs> little wrench. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Walsh, for the for the folks that do not know who you are or what you do, hmm. clue us in. Or is that a so? I am one member of four of Thinline Defense. Uh, we basically do revere reviews, reviews on gun gear, gadgets, and outdoors. Really, so whatever you can think of in terms of firearms, plate carriers, battle belts, mag pouches, all that different like random stuff that you don't know if it's any good. Like, I'll be surprised how many. Six or seven hundred dollar range finders I've used that are just absolutely completely trash. So I like to try out all that stuff, let you know how it works. We we do so many plate care reviews. This is a defense mechanisms MEPC. This is one of my favorites. Um, but we also do all kinds of other stuff. Uh, I, I review a ton of primary arms optics. Those guys just do some cool stuff. Um, what's interesting too that we also do is we'll tell you if something's garbage. And I think that's probably one of the rare things that we do that other people don't do. Even if I'm really good friends with somebody, I'm still going to say if their product is garbage or not. Like, sorry, guys, this one just didn't hit the mark. Um, so, yeah, guns, gears, gadget, outdoors. I do all most of the gear stuff. A lot of the other guys do the firearm stuff. I do a little bit. I'm probably like maybe 10%. But people love all the – you got God, they love the plate carriers and the battle belt. So I get stuck doing all those. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about Olights? Uh, so I don't mind Olight. Um I use oh like it's hard for me to say bad things about them because my PL2 Mini is actually older than our channel, so I don't have <laughs> a whole lot of bad things. I've never had one fail on me. I have a ton of them, but I also use all the others. So I still use stream lights. I have cloud defensive reins. I have everything, every light you can think of. I probably have it, and I use it alongside O lights. Sometimes I'll, in some situations, I'll, I'll prefer an Olight. Like if I want to have a small form factor, I like that Balder S a lot. That's still kind of my go-to. Yeah. Um, 
but I, I still review Olights, and I, there's a good bit of them I'll say thumbs up, and a good bit of them I'll say thumbs down. And yeah. I think the Balder S is the one to go with. If you want that, the rest of them are, eh, you that really kind of situational. What you got there, Sarge? Oh, which one is that one? That's the OG, Al. Oh, the original. Yeah, the OG. <clears throat> Cloud yeah. Defense. It's still Ooh. the same, but it I like the rain. Against- I like to rain a lot better, though. Fancy box. It is a fancy box. Okay, sorry. I didn't get the micro. I should have got the micro rain. I'll be honest. I, I like the micros better. Yeah, the rain's awesome, man. Like cloud defensive. I can't wait till their their pistol lights come out so we can uh, mm-hmm. secretly make their holsters warm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make friends with them so I can get one of those. <laughs> yeah, well, Walsh. I I was wondering, like, what made you think about shooting that Odin with a shotgun, though? So that was Joe. Uh, so that's another member. Oh. So I had done the video of it, just a review. And he was like, hey, let's do a torture test. And he's like, I'm going to shoot it. Okay, so he had a um, – <laughs> uh, do I have one over here? No, I don't have one. Um, yeah. So he had a SIG Romeo 5. <laughs> and he said the number one thing that sold him on the Romeo 5 was that he watched a video and somebody shot it with a shotgun. And then they picked it up and they put it on their rifle and it still worked. So he was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that Olight and I'm going to smash it and I'm going to shoot it with a shotgun. So he's telling us, he's like, guys, I shot it with a shotgun and it, and it lived. He's like, what do you guys think about me using steel, steel shot? I'm like, yeah, man, like finish it. Like the, the game is like, see how far you can go until it breaks. He's just, like, he's just like blasting it with steel shot and he's like, it still works. He's like, I'm, I'm not going to waste any more ammo. So now we have this hey, Olight that just looks like it's, been shot with a shotgun (laughs) i I was impressed actually that so that may reassured me that olight has some capability right there because getting shot with still uh still shot i don't know how far it was when he shot it but not that far still survived the still shot well not only that he also smashed it with a hammer to the point where he bent the mount completely jb welded it back together and then shot it with a shotgun to this day, it's one of our pride and joys because, like, you put it on your gun, you're like, what is that horrible <laughs> mess? Like, dude, that, that thing has been through so dirt. We were just mentioned, like, before you got on, we mentioned how there's a whole lot of Olight haters. Yeah. And after seeing that video, I'm like, dude, like, that kind of, like, defeats the whole hater thing. It's like, now you just hate them because you heard somebody say some shit that you're just going with. And, and let me let me chime in on this because then you can hear someone besides Ralph and, and Panda and Sarge talking about it. But a lot of people parrot what they hear on the Internet. They yeah. hear it and they read it. They don't know anything different. So they just repeat what they heard and yeah. probably say it verbatim because they don't really know any of the background about it. So yeah. it's pretty dumb to me to, to be angry about something that happened in a court case seven years ago <laughs> where someone used batteries that were unauthorized in that white the and, then introduced, and then introduced their face to a to a car battery with the flashlight but that's not even the 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 part where people don't really educate themselves if you search for the actual court case it's not against olight it's against batteries plus because batteries mm. plus were the ones that put in the unauthorized batteries so oh. there's this weird misplaced hate you're like oh olight caused that well, then how come there's no court case against Olight? It's yeah. not who the defendant was. Like, so. What's, what's funny is when I searched it, I could never find anything against Olight. Because there wasn't. Yeah, because they were never the actual defendant of the case. It was Batteries Plus because it was a battery issue. Now, people argue like, well, the, the housing should be contained upon which a way where you couldn't cause the, the battery to overload and like, yeah, whatever, whatever. But it's, it's seven years ago. How do we know it's not now? Like there's Olay makes a new light every three months. Good grief. Like, <laughs> yeah, I honestly yeah. would tell them to probably slow it down a tad. I, know. I don't need a new light every month. Um, but I don't know. I think the hate's misplaced. Is it the best duty light? No, probably not. If you're going to go out there and you're going to use it every single, we have some issues using it for duty use because the light's too bright. The light's not light enough. It doesn't last eight hours. Right. It wouldn't last through a shift. Well, There's some duty limitations to it. But like right. as a regular civilian, absolutely. You don't need a $600 flashlight. Um, yeah. 
You just I don't, don't even have a six hundred dollar flashlight. I'm not going. To. No, <laughs> I look at I look at O light as this. It's the best bedside light. Yeah, well, that's if a, I, a good way if to it put breaks, it. If I break, if it breaks, if I just take one, I just straight up snap it in half. I just go buy another one. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like I'm not out. Like if I just smash a surefire or some crazy light, like that's a bad. People, someone's gonna be mad. Like my wife's gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs> For the guy or gal that just wants a light on the low budget, but still reliable. Just for like a bedside or home defense, you're not gonna go out and go do some crazy like you're not gonna go out train for thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds for hours. You know, go with an O light. I mean, well, I don't know if Ralph was like me, but when we were testing when I was testing out the Odin IR, I put it I put the light purposely on the muzzled flash, like it was over. So the light was sticking out, and I just blasted the hell out of that thing for 500 rounds just as fast as i could i did i did that same thing with the the odin glm yeah is that gl yeah not the r yeah 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 okay yeah so i it sticks way past the barrel on my ar9 and yeah i I put 2,000 rounds through that yeah (laughs) so so i did it with 556 i just i just blasted it it was like you're good to go like (laughs) okay yeah if you can handle that overpressure man that's Mm -hmm. that's where it's at because I run my stuff far forward for a reason. Yeah. Because so is it is it is OLED my number one light? No, but is it number one for ninety nine percent of the people out there? Yes. Yeah. So yes. if if in my thoughts, uh, shout out to Weapon X Y Z in the house. Thanks for uh, coming through, brother. In my thoughts, it's if you need a duty light, just get one that's not rechargeable. That way you can have extra batteries on the go, mm-hmm. right? No, yeah. Yeah. I don't like the batteries. I, I like, I hate batteries. Like, I think the Olight rechargeable battery thing is, is the next move forward. Like, that's what we're seeing everything move towards. Like, from Holosun, you know, the the, the Holosun features that we're seeing that RMR doesn't have. Everyone's yep. trying to get into the rechargeable world, and like, this carrying this with me is annoying. Like, like, oh, I lost the battery. I bet I better go get a stack of them. Um, <laughs> Here, look. Here's the solution, right here. I'll turn it right. Yeah, right there. We just make the holster ready. I think we're going to see more of the rechargeable. (laughs) um, I think Streamlight. I think all those guys are going to move into that. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, right on, right on, guys. We have about five minutes left. The uh, roasting your build show will start at 10 p.m. There will be a brief intermission uh, where I have to set up the new show. Uh, but let's uh, wrap it up here, guys. Walsh, any last uh, couple of things you want to say? Uh, just got some more videos coming out. We we had an opportunity to do a 10K subscriber giveaway. We're giving away some primary arms optics, too, to some of our members um, and those people who are in our TLD deals chat. We have a chat where we um, share all the different deals and sales that we have. So if you're interested in that, come on over and see us. I'm also going to be doing a primary arms, uh, the 1X Prism. So after you all asked me for this. So sorry. <laughs> I was trying to. <laughs> that sounds like it was my show. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to hook you up with the with the. Yeah, with no the worries. Right here. So if you haven't seen the One X Prism, I kind of do a video coming out this weekend where we talk about why the Prism, this particularly this micro Prism Primary Arms does, is uh, I think it's going to take over red dots. To be honest with you, I think it's it has an etched reticle within it. So if you lost power to your red dot, you'd still have your actual reticle. It's pretty cool. I'll show it out on Sunday. And then I have a ton of stuff to show you. Uh, a video that's going to make a lot of people angry. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love it. Um, a lot of people think that your plates expire, like the actual plates. So after you all <laughs> ask me for the... So <laughs> all right, I'll just close it. My like, I'm just going to easily give up. <laughs> uh, so uh, your plates don't expire. And I, I kind of want to talk about that. They don't just like... It's like saying your bathroom tiles expire after a certain number of years. doesn't happen. So right. I'm going to talk about that. Uh, tons of stuff from uh, defense mechanisms. Tons of gear all kinds of stuff so if you're interested in plate carriers whatever you want to see hit me up uh, i think i have one of those gbrs battle belts um coming in so we're gonna deck that out whatever you can think of i'm trying to put it together everybody wants to see stuff from pharaoh i'm yeah hey, i'll get it i don't know they annoy me but we'll do it yeah uh red 19 sti said what's up sarge what's up? i see you uh panda any last things you want to say here uh 
keep an eye on the channel because I got some, I got a cool build that I've been working on for the past couple of months. Oh, yeah. Brownells BRN 180. Mm. Uh, Have you shot it yet? No, I haven't even put it together, actually. (laughs) So I finally got all the parts that I need to complete it. So I'll tell you right now, I I have a BRN 180, uh, the Gen 2, that I run as my optics test platform just because I think I just like the way it runs. And I don't clean it. I haven't cleaned it in 2,000 rounds. And it runs like a top, uh, not even dirty. So it kind of the way it's like the, all the gas is captured in the piston operation. So I'm curious mm-hmm. what you think next time we chat, what you think about the uh, the recoil okay. impulse. Because it's a little different. Uh, it's a little different, but I can definitely shoot it faster than a than an M4. I'm going to show you guys something. Hold on. I, okay. It's not going to get you banned, no. Ralph. Don't worry. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Birthday. You never told me it was your birthday. You you actually it was yesterday. It was yesterday. Oh, during our it was so, during our live chat. Yeah. Yeah, that's why my partner said something in y'all's chat. You try to sing something sing happy so birthday. Here you go. That's the BRS 180S. This is a 10 and a half inch 223 wild. This is the upper. So I got a J Mac custom folding. Big as shit, bro. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So, it's raccoon size. <laughs> yeah, it is. There he goes. It's two two foot eight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe if I have some time tomorrow, I may do a video of assembling the lower, the receiver. And the upper is already complete. I did open this thing, and it does look like they – so, watch when you got yours, was it all oiled up in the bag? Like it looked like it was like it was like oil soup. Yeah, I had like clean. Yeah, it, that's what this thing looked like when I opened it up. I was like, "Oh wow, okay, I'm gonna have to wipe this thing down." So yeah, but, I wiped uh, it down. But then after that, I just kind of I used the um, shooter's lube on that. I just kind of put shooter's lube in, inside mm-hmm. where the charging handle is. I don't yeah. do anything else. Yeah, right on, but, man. Uh, I I want to say they put that oil there to preserve it for years and years inside the box. Maybe they're thinking that these things are going to sit on the shelf. But from my understanding, they sell out instantly. <laughs> yeah. They do. They do. <laughs> Sorry, it took me about three months to get that thing in. It was on back order. Yeah, it, it's it's always out of stock. Everybody loves that thing, man. Uh, Sarge, yeah. happy birthday, brother. Would you like to sign us off? Tell these people. Uh, uh, a goodbye message. I was gonna say, tell us where you can find it, but uh, you're not. Yeah, I mean, you can you can find me. I'm I'm on the MGB forum, which a lot of these people I'm seeing are on. Um, I'm on Rouse Discord. So if you you join us, we're a good community. We're a family. I'm in there with Trash Panda. I'm in there with Walsh as well on his side. So um, you can. Oh, catch- let me see that EDC tray. Yeah, okay, you can catch me on IG, Angry underscore Sarge. That's pretty yeah, cool. That thing looks dope, yeah. I need one of those. Well, hcmholsters.com, I think. Yeah, hcmholsters.com. That's where that's our website. So check us out. Check us out on IG, check us out on Facebook, wherever you, you do your stuff. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting Ralph. Let's get his numbers up. Let's get Panda's numbers up and let's keep Walsh on that, that path up north. It's moving it. Mind right on brother i just want to address this comment here because he did directly ask me a question mm. here if you have sent your build in it will be in uh oh 745 yeah probably not in tonight's show brother that's a little too late you may no you will definitely see it next week um a lot of builds coming up tonight guys we have a whole bunch so i don't know how we're going to get through all of them uh with a red around. With a red STI, that's a build I want to see. I'm, it's going to go one of two ways. It's going to go one of two ways. It's going to be way too much or or way too much. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. A whole lot of extra. <laughs> Walsh, I would love to have you back on for a row session, brother. We will plan that for a future episode. Absolutely. I will give some great dissertations on some builds. So, yeah, if you guys want to see it, just let Ralph know. You, you guys want to have me on the channel and – He'll hit me up on Instagram. Uh, we usually chat all the time in the background anyway. So yeah. I'm a big fan, fan of your channel, Ralph. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, I know you, we kind of have to circumvent some rules sometimes to, to keep things on the um, on the up and up. But yeah. I like what you're doing. I like that you're rebuilding. It sucks, but I'm glad you're, you're finding a new way to make your way. And Starting, I know it's all going to go back to where it was. 
starting from scratch, man. It sucks. Uh, Panda, we will also have you on for a roast. And Sarge, of course. I would love to have you on for a roast, brother. It can happen. Let me let me take care of the MGB community next. So Marine Gun Builder, I'm coming, guys. I don't I can't tell you when. Some of you may have caught the hint, but it's coming. So look out for me. I'm looking forward to it. Dude, you see, right you, see on. you see Bourbon's comment? <laughs> Let's see Walsh shit talk these bills. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the nice guy. I'm the nice one. We just no, you're not. you cause so much fucking trouble, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, the people love the you know, Walsh's dissertation. I sh I certainly do like it. Like you guys should like this video. Make sure to hit that like and to subscribe before you leave, guys. Thank you all so much for joining us today, and we'll see you on the next one. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs>